I, I, I didn't really like sleeping in the outdoors. It's too cold. It's too hollow. Somebody really ramsacked my stuff and threw it everywhere. I never really liked sleeping in here. It basically made you like not want to be motivated to do anything but try to find warmth. Like, go to school. I'm like, for what? Like, I don't even have a place to rest my head. Do you think my education is just gonna help? Like, going to school for that couple of hours is not gonna help me within the night of those eight hours where it's freezing. It basically just made you feel depressed and less motivated to do anything. Um, I was homeless during high school. It was extremely hard. Um, it made hygiene really bad. Um, I stuck out like a sore thumb. When your main focus is shelter, food, and clothing, you know, you don't really think about all the other things that you can do. When I was homeless, I lived in my car. Um, I made every effort I could to make sure that people didn't know that I was homeless. I didn't have a single thought about school while I was homeless. It's a hard thing to, to admit is happening because it seems like you're just on the precipice of either something getting much better or something getting much worse. These are the most vulnerable young people who are disconnected and disengaged from the education system. I'm a researcher at the Youth Action Hub, a center for research and advocacy in Connecticut. So you said that they wanted a system that was proactive, personalized and caring and responsive. Youth are very adamant that these are the things that they want, that they want staff that's relatable, they want staff that's consistent, and they want to be able to trust the people that they're talking to. Somebody that essentially helps the youth get from service organization to service organization, making sure that they have that kind of continuity of care. Now there are partnerships growing. There are people who are saying, we're going to find a way to ensure that the current infrastructure that we have to serve homeless adults can effectively outreach and engage and serve youth and young adults as well. We're going to make sure that we're, we're focusing on education, we're focusing on employment, that it's not just about housing. And when you talk to these young people, the amount of potential that they have, there's so much light despite all of the darkness that they've faced in their life, and, and you want to see them accomplish those things, and that's, that's what we're here to do. I just don't want anybody to lose hope, because when you lose hope, then nothing else matters anymore.